So we are going to get right to this tank update. So here it is, not using a gel filter on this video. Tell me what you guys think. Should I keep it in this form of color where this is pretty much what I'm seeing? It's a little bit more green on my screen, the rocks, I think. Or, or should I do it like this? You guys let me know. Let me know with the filter or without. But this one, we are going to be doing without. So, let's just get to, I usually start at the right side of the tank, but um, I'm going to actually show you guys the newest coral. So, right off the bat, another A-can. Yep, love me an A-can. This one here is a nice flat little colony, uh, about eight heads on it. It's got a really nice color to it, it's, um, and it's doing well in this section. Then the next one is this torch. This torch is um, pretty beefy. Right now it's just one single head. I'm not sure if it's going to split into three heads or if it's, uh, I guess you could call it a war, or I mean a, a wall torch. I've never seen one or heard of one. I've seen the wall hammers and the wall frog spawns, but I've never seen a wall torch the way this one's growing. When I dipped it and everything, it was completely sucked in and it just looked like the letter T. So, we'll see. And then, here we are with some macros and a milli. You guys know me, I'm not really a stick guy, but uh, you know, I got these on Black Friday. Let me see how they look. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm just getting a huge glare. There we go. So, they're doing good. A little bit of a better view of them. Still not sure if they're gonna stay in here or not, but they're growing. Like you can see this one here, the tips are white. It's, um, it's actually growing pretty quick. And that's it for the new coral in this tank. Uh, let me put the filter back. There we go. So, then we'll get over to the right side now. The encrusting corals are still doing awesome. The jack-o'-lantern back there, you guys can see from the last update, that it is almost covering the plug that it came on. Almost there. Um, candy cane's doing good. We'll come down here to the bottom. Here are the other eight cans. They are all doing very well. Nice color. And then some more eight cans. I got a lot of them. I don't know if I'm going to be getting any more E-cans in the near future. I probably will, but I've got I got quite a few at the moment. And then this war coral and this Duncan. So these two have been growing at a ridiculous rate. Look at this war coral just making its way down the rock. That's why I've given this one plenty of room. And then it's this thing is just going crazy. Yeah, Duncans are fast growers. Uh, for most people, I would think, but this one here is the fastest one I've ever had. And I've had a lot of Duncans. And in the back, you can see the Hollywood Stunner. It's taking uh, some shape. Uh, I'll show you guys the side view of that in a minute when we get to the other side of the tank. And, I'll, and uh, it's just doing good. I like it. Um, there's a couple coils in here that I've never actually been able to keep. They've always died on me, like for one chalices and encrusted corals were never live in my tank or they just wouldn't grow fast but um, the tank is doing very well and I, I'm thinking it's you know good husbandry by me and also when I cycled this tank I used the 4x8x8 by eight by eight marine pure block that I got from Fisher Hex that was sitting in his tank for a year um, and I'm doing everything the same I've always done, and um, this one is just that much better. And even this rock is two years old now, 
and I got some coralline algae from him that I scraped off and put in a bottle. And you can see here, look at this rock. It's taking control, it's awesome. The, you can see the really dark purple, which is the Caribbean life rock, and this really bright purple is the, um, the coralline that's, that's growing everywhere. Um, let's see right up here, you can, see, you can even see it on the power head. You guys see that? power and it is getting covered, which is fine because what I like to do is um, scrape it with a razor and just let that stuff blow around and just keep it going. So, all right, so you guys saw all the A cans, you saw the torch. Um, I'm still not done with this section. I'm probably going to be putting another torch right here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. There's like this nice little crater right here that I'm not sure what I'm going to be putting in there. But, um, yeah, definitely a torch gonna go right here, and then, like I said, I'm not sure what's gonna go here yet, but we'll see. I was gonna just do a torch here, and then, like, another one here, but, you know, I don't want them to get stuck and killed by the affiliate. Um, then we will come down to the Drakeys. You can see I have these two rainbows, this nice green one, and in the back there's a red one. All the trachees are doing awesome, just check them out. This red one in the back, it's not opening up like these guys. Um, these guys here are getting about 150 par, and one in the back is getting like 90. So maybe that has something to do with it. I might take that red one and um, put it somewhere else. I'm not sure yet, but. And then that blasto is massive as usual. Then we will come over here is the Roscoe's Reef with Scott Frog Spawn. Check it out, Scott. It's doing very good. It's um, it's growing uh, pretty fast, actually. And then look at this nice orange, peach, pink Frog Spawn right here. This is the one that I got from Reef of Palooza. had one head on it. It's now got three, so it's growing. Um, not super fast, but it's growing. And then the Ultra Green. This is a year old piece and um, ever since I started using two part um, the bulk reef supply two part this thing is growing as well so now that I'm doing two part you know everything is taken off especially this purple yellow tip back there it's just doing great and then more A cans these are the last three so you won't hear me say that anymore these A cans are doing great and look at all the little babies they're getting to be pretty big um, and all the heads on my A-cans are humongous. Like these little babies right here, they're about the size of an m and maybe a little bit bigger. So you can imagine how big the bigger polyps are. You know, especially like this one here. Humongous. Like the smallest one here, which is this one right here. That's like a nickel. And the other ones are like quarter size. But look at this one here. Look at the colors on that one. see the colors that great but that one's got some nasty color to it and then the fungias doing good look at them today I'm gonna to be feeding them uh, a very heavy amount of mysis once a week I give them mysis and once a week I give them reef rights but when they eat the mysis they're good for like two three days they're all super puffy so now let's go on to the left side of the tank and we will end the video there. All right, so we're over here on the left. There's another shot of this Fungia. It's a really bright blue, like a, like a turquoise blue and pink, with these green sweepers and like vibrant purple tips. This piece is definitely a show piece in my eyes. A bit more. I might start feeding him twice a week just to get him beefier. So, alright, and then as you can see, all the zoanthids are now currently on discs. This rock right here was covered in them, but now it's going to be covered with eight cans. So, the sunny bees are already trying to go to the rock, so I got to move them a little bit. The sunny bees are doing good. The Armageddons are fabulous. They got these nice blue lashes on them. The candy apple reds and the 
long, lazy lashes are doing good. And you can see over here I have one little one on a disc. Um, I was actually able to get it off, put it on here from the rock. I'll let them sit here for a month, let them grow out. Next time I see somebody that likes zoanthids, I'm gonna give them that one as a gift to whoever, because I have yet to see these in another tank. I'm sure they're out there, but I haven't seen them. So, um, oh great. And then of course, my fish was just on top of the Leptoceras, which is, I don't know if that's gonna be its spot or not yet. I wanna put that up front. It was, it was right here. But now it's there, so I think I'm gonna put it back up front because that's an original piece right there. And then here, I told you I was gonna show you guys. Here is the shape of that stunner. It's pretty cool looking. So there it is. That is the update. If you guys have made it this far, I wanna show you a little special treat. Uh, one of my hermit crabs actually released its babies and I've never seen that before and um, it was cool how he was doing it they were like on his back inside of his shell and he was like pulling his body out and like shaking them out and they were everywhere now will they survive probably not because most of them were getting blown right to the a cans and that's probably uh, one of their favorite foods but you never know I might see a bunch of hermit crabs down the road so I'm going to show you that video um, right after I say goodbye. So, goodbye.